Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading for Leo single sun, moon, rising, Venus, if you're spying on a Leo. Personally, I think the moon sign is going to resonate the best, so if you need to find out your moon sign, there's a link in the description box below. And if you want to know more about why I think that, that's a longer story, and there's a link for that video as well in the description box below. So let's just get started with your February 2018 single love reading. <laughs> Okay, so what's up with you? What's your energy like in February? Ooh, things are going to change quickly overnight for the better. And you are not going to have to go out and figure out how. So that's exciting. So this could be that like somebody just, boom, shows up in your life you weren't even looking. Okay, let me give you an example. I wasn't paying attention to anything at all. I was at Target and just like trying to use that cartwheel app, you know, like, trying to see if I could get a discount scanning each of my items as I put them on the thing. Some dude shows up, and I'm like a wreck, right? My hair is all nasty. Like, I didn't have any makeup on. I think I'm wearing yoga pants, and um, but not the hot kind, like the lazy mom kind, because we just came right from swimming lessons. And he asked me, are you easily embarrassed? So I thought he was going to tell me, like, I've got, like, a Twix bar stuck to my ass, you know, something like that. And he was just like, um... I th you know, he just like handed me a card. So I wasn't paying attention. So I don't know if he was handsome or old or young or whatever. But I'm just saying, like, I didn't call him. <laughs> but, but my point is, is that if things like that can happen when you least expect it. Boom, overnight, they're your match. You're having a good time. You're like, who knows if you're in love. This is kind of more like a lusty energy. But at least you're getting pounded or doing the pounding in a good way. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to get nasty there. Um, what are your behavioral patterns in February? So my point is pay attention and like you don't have to go out and do anything, okay? Like someone's just going to boom, show up. But you have to be like paying attention so you receive that. Okay, so what are your behavioral patterns in February that will affect you in regards to like finding the love that you want for better and for worse? That's an interesting combo. Okay, so for better, it is easy. You don't have to go out and find it. <laughs> but here's the thing, is you've experienced a lot of relationships that were totally fucking unfair, okay? Like maybe you gave and gave and gave to relationships and you didn't get back, or um, you were cheated on, or all this stuff. Like there's some ishy karma. And so as a result, like you have this mindset that relationships are hard work, which is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, yeah, that's true. Relationships are hard. And if you're willing to put in the work, then you can have a beautiful relationship if you're with somebody who also wants to put in the work, right? But if you're using that as a defeatist mentality, like relationships are so hard, then you're kind of pushing that overnight boom kind of love energy from coming in for you. So that sucks. So be aware of it. Okay, like if you're in this mindset that like, oh, people don't show up, like she's lying, this reading is bullshit. I mean, that could be the case. It is a general reading. It's not personal to you. Um, but all I love as I said this, it was 333 into the reading, which is a very divine number. So God's like, no, girl, I got your back. Like, this is real. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> Um, excuse me. <coughs> I've been sick the last few days, so if my voice is weird, that's why. Sorry. Okay, so anyway. Um, yeah, if you're one of these people in the mindset, like, oh, well, it, it, love's just not going to show up for me. Like, those kind of things don't happen to me. Like, life's just unfair and blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure, that's going to be your reality. But the rest of you who are in a more positive mindset and believe that miracles do happen and believe that things like this do happen... Uh, gonna happen to you okay so that's where that's that's just where I wanted to leave that now the things that you're doing maybe in um, February I don't know why I said August I guess because you're a Leo 
in my mind I said August, but in February that um, are maybe not going to help you so much in your quest to find love is your bluntness, is your complete honesty. So no, you shouldn't be lying to people, but you might be going out of your way to tell them, like to over speak your truth, right? So uh, maybe somebody's interested in you and you're like, you know what, I just have a lot going on, so it's gonna be hard for me to date. Um, that might push them away a little bit. Whereas if you're like, yeah, I'm busy, but I'm going to try to make time for you, that would be better. I mean, it seems obvious, but people do shit like this all the time and, and don't realize how they're self-sabotaging. So they're saying like, um, you kind of sometimes, now Leos, we want to be adored, right? But sometimes we want to be like the lion that goes out and hunts what we want. So we want to attack it, we want to hunt it, and then we want it to turn around and like lick our paws, okay? Lick our face, all that stuff. Like we want to be adored once we catch you. But so that might be a little bit hard for you that you might be the one that's being pursued because typically when a Leo's pursued because we're pursued all the time, let's be real, because um, you're still radiant and you always have good hair. Leo's always have good hair. <laughs> I guess I can't say always, but the majority of time. Um, so anyway, when when it comes to easy to us, we often reject it. We're like, this is no fun. There's no there's no hunt right? There's no like lurking through the the reeds and like pouncing. It, it sucks the fun out of it. And so when somebody's pursuing you so hard, you might have to be real with them and be like, look, you're making this a little too easy. I'm a low board. Um, they say like, make sure that you're taking care of yourself a lot this month. Because if you don't, um, A, you could get sick. But B, like your mood is going to kind of deteriorate. And as your mood drops, you're maybe not attracting all of these good things to your life, right? Like um, you might be walking around with bitch face and not even know it. I do that all the time. I have a friend like I became really close with, but they told me like we went to high school together and they told me, you know, like ninth, 10th grade, I thought you were the hugest bitch because I would say hi to you. And you would just ignore me. But it's like I'm just in my own little world. And I, it wasn't anything rude, but I think I was making like this bitch face that I didn't even know about. <laughs> okay? So just be cognizant of that. You've got to take care of yourself this month for sure. Take time out for yourself. Get your nails done. Get your hair done. Whatever it is that you want to do. Buy those cute boots that you saw online that are maybe just a little bit too expensive. Whatever. But that's going to be important for you in order to kind of boost your vibration so that you're attracting in the right kind of people. Okay, so what kind of areas do you need to further grow in in order to attract love? And they're just like, if you could really create this stable routine and long-term plan, that'd be so helpful. Especially if you wanna bring in somebody who's around for the long-term, right? Because if you know where you're going, then you'll instantly be able to know if they are aligned with your life path and trajectory. Are they a good match or not? You know. Maybe you meet somebody and it's lusty and it's passionate and it's exciting, but they have a long-term goal of living in Hawaii and you don't want to leave Wisconsin, okay? Like you're, you've are you already decided you're never leaving Wisconsin. That relationship isn't going to work, obviously. Okay, so things like that. Because as, long, as soon as you're thinking long-term, you're going to align with other people who are thinking long-term and if you want long-term lasting love, kind of obvious. Okay. So what is something you need to tweak or change in order to attract love in the month of February? And they're like being really discerning, like understanding when recognizing very quickly when somebody isn't aligned with you for the, your highest good, when they're not good for you. And I mean, that seems obvious, but a lot of us will have a tendency to, like I see this in personal readings constantly, where it's like, you know what? I think I'm just going to like, stay with this person, even though my intuition is telling me that it's wrong, even though you're telling me that it's wrong, and just like fucking wait it out and see what happens. Because you know what? Things change. People change. Um, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. But you're going to be wasting time with the wrong person for a long ass time. And you know, five years down the road, then you're going to be like, oh shit, man. Well, that was dumb. Okay, and then you're going to have nobody to beat up but yourself because that was your decision. So when you're thinking longer term, you're more equipped to make these types of decisions and recognize when somebody isn't the right kind of match for you. Okay, like if, if somebody says, 
I don't want kids. And that's very important for you, okay? You see that on their dating profile or whatever, and you know that that's what you want, okay? Now, the thing is, is sometimes you might meet them, you say, oh, I'll give it a chance. And then you think, you know what, when we fall in love, maybe things will change, maybe things will be different. Once they're in like a really loving, romantic relationship, they'll decide that they want a child. Okay, well, what if they don't, okay? And now this relationship is beautiful in so many ways, but that was really important to you, and now you have to get a divorce, even though you deeply love each other, because you needed that, and they were very clear that they didn't want it. You have to be discerning. I actually know a couple like this, where um, they met online like long ass time ago, and it was like a new thing. I don't know what, like 10, 15 years ago? They've been married forever. Um, he didn't want kids. She did want a kid. She went off birth control, got pregnant behind his back, like, on purpose. Um, he was like, what the fuck? Why did you do that? I didn't want children. Obviously, when their daughter is born, actually about to go off to college, now, um, in the next year or two, they were like, you know, his, his tune changed. And he was like, I love her so much. Like, I would never want um, a life without her now that she's here. But the fact that he was like, I didn't want kids, this is not where I saw my life going, means that now they're in this relationship where she forever resents him because of the things that he said, like, oh, I don't want a kid. So now she, like, tries to, even though they stay married for financial reasons, it's a super fucked up situation, she, um, she's, like, always taking the daughter and, like, kind of, like, turning her against the dad. He's just, like, slaving away at a job trying to provide, and their relationship is total crap. They haven't had sex in like a decade. It's like the worst. Do you want to be in a relationship like that? Because if you don't make the decision when you recognize that somebody isn't aligned with you, that they don't want the same things that you do, that they're not for your highest good, you know, bye, let it go, let it go. What are you going to try to sit here and change a person for? They're not going to change unless they want to change, and you can't convince them that. That comes from deep within. But we all have this idea that we can control other people or control relationships and it's fucked up and it's wrong. So anyway, sorry to get like all emotional and, and noisy about it, but that's important for somebody. <laughs> it's important for all of us, but somebody really needed to hear it. Okay, so um, what are some things that you need to let go of in order to welcome love into your life in February, Leo? And they're like this feeling that you're always gonna be single. Some of you have kind of resigned to that and you're okay with it, which is wonderful. But if you're preferring that you're always going to be single, like if that's the vibe that you're sending out to the universe, the universe isn't preparing someone for you because here's the thing. A lot of us are confused about what is it that we want. Okay, who else just had this? I think it was Gemini. There's this like confusion energy like, okay, well, I kind of like this. I kind of like that. I kind of like this, kind of like that. Like where should my focus be? Um, and that makes a lot of sense, right? But Maybe we need to, the, I think the reason why we end up in this area of confusion, like what's important to me, is A, because we haven't tried everything yet, right? But B, because um, we're trying to manipulate or control how things come into our life, okay? Like for me, a personal example, where, where'd that girl go? Where are you? So anyway, imagine I'm the queen of pentacles. I'm single. I'm sitting here. I'm content with my life. I don't need a man in my life. Like, I'm really, really happy, okay? So then you might, I might start overthinking. Like, oh, well, I mean, I like all of these things about a person, but if they came into my life, maybe they would disrupt my harmony. Maybe I would start to feel stressed out that I have to spend time with them when my life is really happy and really good the way that it is right now. Or like, for example, with religion. Um, oh, man. You know, like, I don't know where I'm going to meet, like, the right guy in my faith? Or what is dating in my faith going to look like? You know, because I'm a Muslim, and that's hard. It's kind of like a taboo thing that people don't even talk about. But then, you know, like, there's Mormons. They also have their rules, and, like, some people are super Catholic. Like, Everybody's got their shit, right? And so if I'm trying to control how all of this happens, then I'm going to start to get really confused. And I'm like, wait, do A, do I even want a partner? B, which, I mean, let's be real, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> 
But B, if so then if, if I'm not even sure that I want it, how am I going to figure out what kind of things I want, what kind of qualities I want? Like, okay, I think that I want somebody who's super religious like me, but maybe that would be overbearing, you know? But I'm letting my fears control my thoughts and then not help me, like, just focus on the fucking basics. Does that make sense? So, so that's where you're at. That's what you kind of need to clear up. It's like all of this confusion energy, which is not really confusion about who you're trying to draw in or what you're trying to draw in as far as qualities are concerned. Um, it's more the control aspect, which is kind of a problem, right? Like if I'm trying to control how a person comes into my life, that's an issue. So anyway, they're like, just think about more the feelings that you want to have with a person. I want to feel lust. I want to feel desire. I want to feel joy. I want to feel silliness. I want to feel happiness. I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel um, like I'm learning something. You know, like all focus on the feelings and you'll be able to draw something in. Now, um, I want to circle back to that person who just like kind of shows up overnight. What's that about? And they say they may show up at your work. Um, it may show up while you're making a financial transaction, but you will not be the person finding them. So when this is important because when it's talking about control, you want to be the hunter, but you need to allow yourself to kind of be stalked, okay? <laughs> not stalked in like an unhealthy way like somebody looking through your window kind of stalked, but you need to be the person who is hunted this month, okay? So kind of a weird message, but have fun with it in February and love and light. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.